We can't be a page dedicated to PFP called Everything PFP without explaining what it is. So what is it? PFP stands for Passive Fire Protection, and it refers to the built-in components of a building or a structure that aim to contain or slow down the spread of a fire or smoke, giving you time and a means to escape. That's in contrast to Active Fire Protection, which needs an action for it to work, either manually, like a fire extinguisher that you turn on, or sprinklers that work automatically when they sense a fire. Instead of trying to put out a fire, Passive Fire Protection aims to contain it in what we call fire-resistant compartments. These are little localized areas within a building, like a room or a corridor. So if a fire were to start in one of them, it would stay there for as long as possible. So considering Passive Fire Protection is about keeping a fire contained in a room, it means that every surface connecting that room to another has to be fire resistant. So the walls, the floor, the ceiling, glass. You're probably already familiar with fire doors, the big heavy doors. The reason they're so heavy is that they shut automatically. So if a fire does start, that hole will be blocked. Now I hear what you're saying, Race, what about rooms like this? Or like this? Such a big open area. Surely that's going to allow fire to spread to that room and that room and that room. Well, for that, we have fire curtains. These curtains drop down from the ceiling and create a temporary barrier. It's quite crazy to think that a fabric like that can hold back a fire as well as a wall can. There's also the stuff you can't see. In most walls, there's ductwork, cables, wires, things that lead from one room to the other and make a little hole to get there. How do you stop a fire going through those spaces? One way is with fire dampers. These are items that go inside the ductwork that close automatically when they send smoke, cutting off access to the other room. Because the last thing you want is for your aircon to suck up all that smoke, giving it access to every other room in the building. So that's for ductwork. But for cables and pipes going through a wall, you'll need good old fashioned bat and mastic. Your fundamentals, perhaps the most well known and most used products in PFP. Basically, the duct tape of the pacifier protection world. Your fire rated bat is like your extra piece of fire rated wall that you can take with you and cut and fit to shape. And the mastic is like the glue that holds it together. Together. Some items can't be made fire resistant, like a steel beam. It is just what it is. So instead we'll use fire resistant coatings, it's some some paints, wraps or boards to surround the steel beams, protecting it from extreme heat and reducing the risk of it collapsing during a fire. In short, passive fire protection is a silent but vital part of building safety. And although you may not see it, in the case of a fire, it might just save your life.